What is up, you horror nerds? It is me, your host once again, Jeremiah Duncan. I got a review for you. It's fun, and I'm in my house. It's the fun house. That's right, and that was a horrible segue to this 1981 classic. This is rated R, and I loved, loved this movie. It's fun, it's great. Um, I'm giving it a 6.5 out of 10. Sometimes it teeters into the seven because it's such a great film. I think sometimes it gets a little bit of a disservice done to it because I believe people think of it as a poor slasher film when in fact it's actually a creature feature, has the monster in it and everything. Um, it is from the director who brought you Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Toby Hooper. If you are not familiar with this film, let's get you familiar, okay? Something is Alive in the Fun House. Director Toby Cooper, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, as well as Poltergeist, plays affectionate tribute to various classic horror movies in this tale of two teenage couples who spend the night in a sleazy carnival funhouse. On her first date with Buzz, Cooper Huckabee, who is in True Blood, Amy, who is played by Elizabeth Barrage from Amadeus, disobeys her father and goes to the carnival with Richie who is played by Miles Chaplin from Hair, and Liz, who is played by Largo Woodruff, but their first date may end up to be their last. Bum, bum, bum. After witnessing a murder, the four terrified teens are trapped in the maze of the funhouse and stalked by a real monster, a horribly deformed killer, who lurks among the freakish ex exhibits waiting to butcher them one by one. The Fun House also stars Sylvia Miles, who is in Midnight Cowboy, and Kevin Conway in three roles, and features special makeup design by Academy Award winner Rick Baker, who did An American Werewolf in London and Ed Wood. Um, like I said, Toby, um, Toby Cooper, super cool um, director. I thoroughly enjoy him. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the original and Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2, and again, um, he actually turned down um, the opportunity from Spielberg to direct the movie E.T. because he was filming this, which is hilarious. Um, I wonder if he went on to regret it. I don't know. Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Um, but Steven Spielberg loved him so much that he waited, and he brought him on for Poltergeist. And of course, um, it's pretty cool that he ended up still working with Spielberg. Um, D uh, Dean R. Kuntz, if you aren't familiar, is an author. Um, he actually wrote a book that was based on this, um, but it was underneath a, a pen name, pen, pen, pen name, pen name of Owen West. So a lot of people have heard of that book. Um, they think that the movie is based on the book. However, the book is actually based on the movie. Just a fun fact for the fun house. Great movie. Check it out. 6.5 out of 10 for me. 1981 rated R Funhouse. If you've seen it, comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, like, subscribe. Um, let me know what your favorite Toby Hooper movie is. I would probably have to say the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's classic um, for me personally. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like, subscribe. Hit the death bell for notifications. Appreciate y'all so much. Stick around. Got more reviews coming to you. Hey.